like this and like that and like this and I'm like this. Hey guys, got a little video here for you today about the FX4 drain valve. Some people call it the utility valve. Um, I think we've all seen these, right? Um, I've seen people wondering how to take these apart. I have figured it out, but I'm going to sh uh, show you and let's see if it's worth even taking it apart as opposed to just replacing it. And we're going to jump right into it. This one did fail on me. Uh, I did have to order another one and we're going to see why. Let's open this bad boy up, okay? So how do we take these things apart? I have figured it out, but I am going to tell you it's not worth taking these things apart because you are going to damage it so I'm just going to tell you straight off it's always best to, if these things start leaking you're better off just replacing it um, but to take it apart you're going to need two flathead screwdrivers you're going to need one so this is on this this is like a stop when you turn this thing there's physical stops on here so when you turn it it's going to stop one way and it's going to stop the other for open and close that's all this thing does but in order to slide this whole valve out you're going to need one flathead screwdriver to pry this open so it get pa gets past the lip underneath of it and then you're going to need another one to get under here and pop this thing out and as you can see i've already done it and it will come right out now so let's pull it out and see what it looks like inside so we got it out here it is and this is what it looks like inside and I am seeing some grit in here um, but the, the biggest thing that I've found is if you look right here you can see where this o-ring has broken this here is why mine would have been leaking there's really not a lot of grit you can kind of clean all the grit and sand and stuff that gets in here just by taking it to a faucet and when you're rinsing it you can just keep turning turning and you can't get all that stuff out but opening it up finding that broken o-ring makes me glad i replaced it i've already ordered it it showed up today and i put it on my fx4 i'm still waiting for the new motor to come so yeah in my opinion i don't think it's worth trying to take these things apart to see if you can fix them because as you can see, you kind of damage it. You, you mar up the plastic. And as you can see, this is supposed to sit flat, but for prying it, it now has an upwards angle on it. And uh, using a big word to sound smart, coercely, you damage the plastic on the, on the housing as well. So anytime these things go bad, don't worry about trying to fix them because it's just not worth it. So just replace them. That's it. Just want to do a quick video on the utility valve on the FX series canister filters and my take on it. The only other good thing is, is now you'll have some extra O-rings if you need them for that um, outside where they go in to the canister filter. And that's about it. Other than you can get this and this and keep those as spare. So let me know what you think about the video. Thanks again. Be safe.